you know the outcomes. So welcome back. I, it's been a long time. I haven't made a, a movie review in quite some time, honestly, since life, I don't believe. There really hasn't been anything in theaters uh, that I really am that interested in, honestly. So, And it's also really, really hot outside, so there's some fan noise probably you're going to hear. I apologize for that. Moving on, I actually really want to talk today about In Bruges. This is one of my favorite films of all time, director Martin Madonna, starring Colin Farrell, Brendan Gleeson, and Ralph Fiennes. These, this, these three are just a beautiful uh, mismatch of just craziness that happened in this movie. I, it's really hard to describe. Actually, I have a story with this movie before I really go into the film and really discuss the implications of what this movie's about. So. A couple, year, uh, a couple years ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, one of my friends who I work with told me about this movie and he told me to watch it and he said I'd really appreciate and really like this movie. And uh, I listened to him pretty much. It took me a couple weeks really to really even start to watch it, but first time I saw it, I was down and I liked it a lot. You know, I, I really appreciated this movie a lot and I wanted to see it again for sure to really get the full picture of what this movie's about and so i watched it again and damn this movie is deep it is hilarious and for some reason it fits my personality super well and that's something i really appreciate about this movie and really want to just share with people who don't understand me as a person really or my type of humor and if i would put myself in any type of uh, movie that is this dark uh, comedic but also very very philosophical but also very uh, driven in a uh, sense of morality of some sorts and just questioning right and wrong and, and morals this would be the movie to really uh, pinpoint how I am as a person and so I've seen this movie like I said a year and a half ago I've probably seen it about 12 times now I've, show, I've shown a lot of my friends this movie a lot of them absolutely love it. I have a couple people I've seen, uh, I've shown this movie to that didn't really appreciate it, but they really weren't paying attention, and that's what this movie's really about. You need to pay attention to this film. This movie came out in 2007, so I mean it's it's pretty dated. It's been it's been 10 years now since this movie came out, but I really wanted to discuss this film because there's some really fantastic things about it. So a lot of the pros of this movie is just it's a gorgeous movie, Bruges, the city, which Colin Farrell really not a fan of this place. Uh, I don't really want to go too much into the story because it gives some things away, but really Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson are sent to Bruges to really be on forced vacation by Ralph Fiennes, their boss, because of a botched uh, job that something happened with Colin Farrell and, uh, back in London that really has really affected him a lot. And they're sent to Bruges pretty much to lay low for a while and Brendan Gleeson's enjoying the scenes and really the city itself and taking in all of the, the niceties of the of the city and really goes up into this one tower in, in Bruges, this nice clock tower. I cannot remember the name exactly, but it's a it's a beautiful, gorgeous view and there's a funny scene where Ray, who is Colin Farrell's character, does not want to go up there. And then he's sitting down there below and a bunch of Americans came up and they're kind of overweight Americans and pretty much uh, Ray says, "Like, it's like you can't go up there. It's, it's probably it's really windy staircases. I'm not making, I'm not, I'm not joking around." And they're like, "What do you mean?" It's like, "What do I mean? You're you're fucking elephants." It's a, a comical little chase that he's just like, "Stop it! Uh, like, stop it, fatty! You can't chase me," kind of a thing. And it, it's hilarious. I'm not doing it justice at all, but definitely one of the best scenes in the movie. There's so many scenes in this movie that are just hysterical and outlandish and just and crazy things that are happening in this movie, but. Going back in the story, they're sent there to Bruges to sightsee and kind of lay low for a while. And the story unfolds really in a, a kind of early on, probably the first 30 minutes in, you figure out what happened with, with Ray and why he's so down. And that really sets the tone for the rest of the movie and really contemplating life and death. And there's a lot of imagery in this movie that really honestly explore that life and death aspect. There's a lot of stuff with about, about good and evil and, and morals in here. They go into this chapel, this really beautiful chapel that um, Brendan Gleeson's character really wants to see and Bray doesn't care at all but talking about Jesus and then he's like do you believe in Jesus and then Brendan Gleeson just sit, like kind of sits there and like no and then like and then the scene just cuts there and it goes to something else. Brilliant. Brilliant delivery here. Um, but there's also other scenes in here where 
they're looking at this painting and I, I've seen this painting before and I could not, I really cannot pinpoint what the painting is. And it's, it's a gorgeous painting. It's Revelations, the last book in the Bible. So this is when it's hell on earth pretty much. And there's all these satanic things happening and, and crazy torturous things happening. And it's just this thing. And it, it, it really is uh, invoking a lot of that imagery in this movie but in a different type of way. And then their boss eventually has to come find them because something happens with Ralph Fiennes and his principles. The phone calls with him are, are worth it and so are some of the moments at near the end of the film. There's a midget in this movie, there's a gorgeous uh, Belgian lady in this movie as well. There's all sorts of things in this movie that you really could take away from. So now that I've kind of gushed about this movie, I, there is no really any cons for me in this movie. I actually give this movie a five out of five. This is a definitely own this movie. This is my type of movie and I cannot gush about this movie enough. I feel like as an audience, I'm really cheating you and not telling you the story of, of the film and all of the implications this movie has. But definitely go check this movie out because it is a masterpiece in my opinion and it's one of the best films of all time that a lot of people really don't know still. Uh, to me, it's a sleeper film that a lot of people still don't understand or have ever heard of, really. Definitely check out Martin Madonna's other films. He actually has a new film coming out, uh, Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri, which I'm really looking forward to with Francis McDormand, Woody Harrelson, and Peter Dinklage. And I really am really excited to see that. Also, Sam Rockwell is in the movie as well. Make sure you comment down below and tell me what you think. Give me a like uh, and share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'm not jonesing around.